So as of today, September 16th, 2021, I have hardcover beta inside of my Kindle Direct Publishing bookshelf. So what I want to do today is just walk you through this as a first look, meaning I'm just going to walk through what I see and I'm going to show you in this video because again, this is the first day that I've had this. So what I have is one of my books here. This is a six by nine paperback book. This is a log book for a rental beach house. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to simply click on create hardcover. As you can see, it populates all the details, the book title, the subtitle, the author, the description, the keywords, the categories, and you simply save and continue. Here you come up to print ISBN. Of course, get a free ISBN number. You have to assign a unique ISBN number because your hardcover book is a new book. Scroll down. We're going to keep all the same paper information. It's going to import that again. Again, this is black and white interior, white paper. It's six by nine. It didn't bring over the bleed, so this information didn't come with it because I know this definitely has bleed. And while we're here, let's take a look at the different trim sizes that you get. Currently, with hardcover, you only get 5.5 by 8.5, 6 by 9, which this book is, 6.14 by 9.21, 7 by 10, and an 8.25 by 11. I'm going to scroll down here, and we are going to upload our manuscript. We are going to upload the book cover. Now, when it comes to the book cover, the book cover is going to change. And this is a very key, important part. Of course, they have the cover creator and you can launch that, but you can also upload your ready to print PDF. Now, this is where it comes into doing the research, understand. And again, this is a first look video. This is the first time I've attempted this. I'm actually sharing this with you basically live. So what's happening here is Kindle Direct Publishing went to the help page hardcover. You can now create case laminate hardcover books along with paperbacks and ebooks. Explore the resources below to learn more and set up your hardcover book. You need to come here and you need to read all this information. You need to understand what a case laminate hardcover is. You need to understand the differences between paperback and hardcover, the printing options, the manuscript formatting, the cover formatting, and the places that it's going to be distributed. Currently, Amazon.com, Amazon.com.uk, DEES, FR and IT. I believe that's Germany, Spain, France, and Italy. And then you can see that Canada and Amazon.com.au aren't listed as primary marketplaces. To make your hardcover available in those marketplaces, you'll need to make it available on Amazon.com. Also, hardcover isn't available in Japan or expanded distribution. Check out the printing cost information and then scroll down and understand and go through these frequently asked questions about publishing a hardcover book. These questions will lead you over to formatting your hardcover and creating a hardcover book. And you can see here all the different elements of the hardcover book. Very important to understand all this. Again, understand your size cover. And you can click here. And now they have a cover calculator and template calculator. And as you can see, when you click on that, you're going to get this new print cover calculator. Here you can select your binding type, hardcover or paperback. In this case, we'll go hardcover, interior type, black and white, paper type, white paper page turn direction, left, right, right to left, measurement in units, inches, interior trim size. Here are your trim sizes again. We're going to go six by nine and our page count is 103. And then you can calculate your dimensions and it brings up everything you need to know to format your book. Full cover, front cover, margin wrap, hinge, spine, spine safe area, spine margin, barcode. And of course, all these are explained. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to explain all the details. You can also click here to download the template. That'll download a zip file that you open up. Then when you open up that zip file, you're going to have the template in PDF as well as a PNG. And that's readily available for you to upload into, say, Canva or any other editing software program that you use. So now we'll go back to the book cover and we'll upload a cover that I've created. Basically, all I did was modify a cover I had. And I will go more into this in detail. Now, of course, if you have Canva, you can do this with Canva Pro. By clicking resize, if you don't have Canva Pro, what you could do is just resize it based upon the cover dimensions that you got here inside of the cover calculator. You could simply just take this full cover 13.996 by 10.417, go into Canva, create a design, custom size, change this from pixels to inches, go back to the cover calculator, get the width in inches and the height in inches, come back and create a new design. And then at that point, whatever your cover is, you could go ahead and create it or recreate it. Now, I don't think you could just stretch the cover. That's not going to work. 
But if it's a solid background cover, then that would be easy enough to fix. For example, if you see a cover that I have here, this is a standard cover. If I was to just stretch this, it might work, it might not, depending on your graphics, depending on how it was created. But it would be just that simple to stretch that into a new cover with the new dimensions. Of course, you could just upload the template here and you could snap that in. And then what you could see is you could see everything that fits. Of course, take this, change the transparency, and you can see here that that cover is not actually just going to fit. You can see the V in here is a little bit over the line, so that might not work. So again, just stretching the cover may or may not work depending on the cover design. So you may have to come in and play around with that if you just have the free version and make sure that that works when you're creating your cover. So back to the bookshelf and the book creator. Now we are going to launch our previewer to see if my cover and my interior actually pass the formatting and print quality issues checks. Of course, that's going to take a few minutes to prepare your files. KDP is processing your manuscript and book cover to generate a print ready file. This requires a number of steps and can take several minutes. I'm going to pause here and come back when it's finished. All right, I'm back. So while that's generating your print preview, I wanted to take this time to take a look at some of the books that might or might not work for hardcover. And I would just want to look at this one. This is the probably the most popular gratitude journal out there. Good day. Start with gratitude, a 52 week guide to cultivate an attitude of gratitude. This was published September 16th, 2017. You can see there is a paperback option. And you can also see they have a spiral bound option. Now, again, a book like this that has a spiral bound option as well as a paperback would be a good, in my opinion, a good candidate for a hardcover book. Now, there's going to be other books out there that could probably work just as well. Inside a hardcover, composition notebooks might work. You might be able to find a space to create a very unique niche down composition notebook because these are technically not paperback the way that we sell them. For example, the one you see here, which is a paperback, these are actually a harder cover. So this is something to explore. And at this point, again, like I said, this is a first look. This is just something to think about. I'm not telling you to go create hardcover composition line to paper notebooks. I'm just saying, see what makes sense for the books that you have or the books that you can create for this new KDP hardcover format. Another good idea might be logbooks. Here we see logbook for truckers. We see logbook aviation pro. These might all be books that would really do well as hardcover because this might be something that needs to be kept. It might be something that needs to be taken care of over the long term. So go through here and again, I'm just using this as an example as I just take a first look at this kind of thing. Another idea for this wedding guest book, of course, you could do some research on these and you're going to see that a lot of these are hardcover. And this might be something that you could explore if this type of book that KDP is going to produce, the cover, the finish, the binding, all of that, if it lays flat, all things depending on the sizes that you are given. If you go through here and you do your research, you might be able to find that you could create something in this wedding guest book or this guest book idea. Anything that's a keepsake that's going to stick around and last a little bit longer. Or you think someone might want to keep longer and it might last longer as a hardcover book. Or it might even be more valuable as far as when someone purchases it. Because the thing is, these books are more expensive. You can see here this lemon sherbet wedding guest book. Rose color is $25.99. Of course, I think this comes with a pen, so this is a set. So again, these are the things you're going to have to look at. Can you compete with these other books that come in sets with pens and other items? But just do your research. Think about what a hardcover book means to a person, and you're creating real books for real people as you move through this process, if and when you get access to the beta hardcover. All right, so the quality check is here. And as you can see, there is an error with my cover. <laughs> Go figure. Again, like I said, this is a first look. You can see here, if your book has errors, it won't meet our quality standards. To publish your book, you will need to fix these errors. Your expected cover size is 13.996 by 10.417, but the submitted file is 13.997 by 10.360. So we'll definitely have to check that. We'll go ahead and look at the interior. And the interior does not have any issues. It is just the cover. And again, I think this is going to be the hardest thing for everyone to accomplish. And you can see my resizing didn't actually work. So I'm going to have to try it again. So just to get this moving again, I went ahead and I'm just going to 
resize this like I tried a second ago with the other cover. And of course, we'll go ahead and, and we'll try that. And then we'll add the cover over the top or the template over the top. And we'll see if everything is within the lines or the borders. And as you can see, it's right on the edge. But let's go ahead and just see if we can play with this and see if we can get this passed and see what we have. Download that as PDF print. Go back, exit print previewer, scroll back down, and we'll upload our cover again. Successfully saved, go ahead, launch previewer. Of course, that'll save. That'll go through the process again, comparing your files, and then we'll check this cover and see if we got any closer. And here's the cover that we stretched out. Enjoy your stay. It is getting cut off a little bit there around the borders. So it's probably not perfect, but it will pass the guidelines so we can move along. So we'll go ahead and approve. And that'll take you back into hardcover content. You scroll down. You can see the printing cost is going to be $6.80. Save and continue. Then you go into hardcover rights and pricing. Scroll down. You can see here I've entered a list price of $14.99. Minimum $11.33. Max $250. You can see the rate 60% and a royalty of $2.19. Of course, you can do this for all the other places where it is allowed to be sold. Of course, take note there is no expanded distribution terms and conditions and go ahead at that point and publish your hardcover. At this point for me, I'm just going to go ahead and save this as a draft. Now you can see the book, Enjoy Your Stay. You can see it is both live as a paperback as well as hardcover draft because this is the same book in two different formats, paperback and hardcover. So if this first look at hardcover beta inside of Kindle Direct Publishing Bookshelf was helpful, give me a thumbs up. Type right here in the middle of the screen, click that typewriter, subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos just like the one you see here on the screen right now. Click it, watch it, look forward to seeing you there, and I'll talk to you later.